All right, I'm out here in front of PPE. We are on a road trip again, and I always have to stop in Las Vegas for PPE because I hear they've got something super cool inside that I just have to see, and it has to do with some other stuff on here. So if you remember the Carbonzilla pipe in the back right there, that was released a couple months ago, and we got to test that out. Now this Charge Air Cooler was released just over a year ago, maybe, well, less than a year ago, I guess, as it was at SEMA. And so we've got that on there, but there's multiple parts to this system on the Charge Air Cooler, and they've gone a step above, and let me show you. Walking into the shop, I was immediately greeted with the test truck on the rack already. The front end was disassembled from it, and I was able to see up close the prototype radiator installed. Now this is one of a few that were installed, and basically my understanding of what they were trying to do was one, obviously we got a test fit to make sure that it fits properly, and two, they're verifying the amount of airflow through the whole core design. So they need all the airflow to flow through the radiator core for the charge air cooler, but also through the condenser, through the trans cooler, through the engine radiator. So there's a lot that needs to go in there and they wanna make sure that this is all up to factory specifications. So there were multiple test units to, uh, to be used, but there was only one here at this location right now, and that is this one. This is a pre-production piece, and final units may be different, so just keep that in mind, but um, there are multiple core designs that they're testing, and I think that's super cool. So if you're wondering what this is or does, no worries. This is a radiator for the charge air cooler system. Now coolant runs through this radiator and an electric pump circulates it through the charge air cooler. Now there are shutters in front and when those are closed, it doesn't matter what is there because if there is no airflow, it's not gonna cool anyway. So just keep that in mind. Once the shutters are open, it's critical for the radiator to cool as much and as quickly as possible. And that's what this radiator should do. Now I wanna point out the use of all available cooling area with this PPE design. Not only is it enormously thicker than the factory one, it also has cooling in the areas where the factory brackets were. This unit does bolt right in place with no modifications to the factory mounting and it reuses all coolant hoses as far as I'm aware. Now they may do some revisions here and there may be some included hoses, but you're not gonna have to modify anything on your factory truck in order to make this fit as the way it is with uh, all the PPE products that I've tested in my trucks before. All right, so I had to ask about the testing that they do and under what conditions. Now, on a closed course, they will attach one of these huge trailers and some heavy equipment, then run the truck in super hot Vegas conditions while monitoring data with a data logging system by Bosch. Yes, I did have to ask what they're using, and that's what he told me. So it's pretty cool that they're sharing information. Now, here's the kicker. They told me that in total, they will get up to 25,000 pounds behind this truck. And with careful consideration of weight over the rear axle, for sure, because that is a, a crucial element that uh, was pointed out to me as well. So the weight never exceeds payload while pulling weight puts the vehicle into extreme situations, allowing them to really find the weaknesses and areas to improve. So I think the testing, that they're doing on this is phenomenal and it's good to put it in extreme conditions. Nobody else out there should be pulling 25,000 pounds with this truck, but that's definitely gonna find some weaknesses within this uh, tiny little three liter assembly there. All right, so I then asked their opinion of the tiny turbo brake that's included with these trucks and, and having that big of a load, you know, how does it work? And I was told that they were actually pretty pleased with it and if uh, I had any other questions, go ahead and look at the brakes for any signs of overheating. Now going back to the charge air cooler radiator, the disassembly doesn't appear to be that bad. You just gotta remove the front grill and the shutters to access. So since this truck is already completed, I'm adding some pictures here of a different truck to show the differences in stock form versus the giant PPE radiator that's there. Now notice the factory brackets on the sides, like I mentioned before, and then compare that to the PPE radiator, wasting no space at all, and this is a shot of the lower inlet shutters as well as the upper shutters right here. Before I left, I just had to make a suggestion to Joe, who's the owner of PPE, but I want your opinion on this as well, so please comment about your opinion below. Now, when buying a, a cool piece like this radiator or even the trans cooler, the PPE logo will be on it, but I feel it's too small. Are you like me that would prefer a much larger logo across the cooler? The cooler is painted, right, and you've got the PPE on there. 
If anybody's like me, I would want a larger logo. So I don't know if that's an option or if it's anything that you've even thought of. Sure. 